Good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode 3 of Dratnos's Mod Primers for the Technic Pack. So, wow, wasn't that, a, wasn't that a classy intro? I made that myself. I thought it was pretty cool. So today we're going to be looking at some uh, items added by the Additional Pipes mod and the Additional Buildcraft Objects mod. But before we get started, I'd just like to quickly show you a few things that uh, pertain to what we did last episode. First off, the Somnia mod. If you actually right-click a... and I didn't know this. If you right-click a bed with a clock, it'll let you... It'll give you even more options as far as Somnia, and it'll display the, um, the current time while you sleep, which allows for much more precise sleeping, which is always a good thing. It's a power I wish I had in real life, in fact, but I do not. Uh, secondly, uh, the minimap you see in the top right corner is actually REI minimap. I should have probably talked about this last episode as well, but I'll go ahead and show you now. Um, there's a bunch of options available if you hit the period key. You can disable it easily. You can, it can show you which biomes you're in, so like desert, not desert, water. It can show you the temperature of where you're in, the humidity, uh, cave systems, and back to the surface. You can enable a thing called death point, which will give you a waypoint whenever you die, which is very useful. Uh, you can make it round, square, give it a different texture, a bunch of other options, which I'm not going to go through now. And you can also drop waypoints, either by hitting waypoints down here, or by hitting comma and then just typing in your waypoint here. You can change the color or whatever, and it'll show up right where you were. You can just modify it by going into waypoints here, hit remove, hit that, remove, it's gone. You can also hide and show it. Pretty awesome. So that's the REI minimap mod. Also, taming horses, you can either use any number of bread, it'll, it'll be random and it'll take quite a lot sometimes, or one apple. To tame any kind of horse, including a Pegasus, any of the any of the super rare horses, just one apple. So you might want to do that instead of what I did last episode, which was a bunch of bread. Um, and finally, um, the last thing that I was going to mention, I have uh, totally forgotten. So whatever, what well, couldn't have been that important? Probably, theoretically, it mustn't have been. Nah, okay, we're fine. Whatever. Um, so over here. We have a pretty simple mechanism. This is a redstone engine, flicked on, pulls stuff out of this wooden pipe here, from this chest, pulling some cobblestone out here. These are all vanilla buildcraft things, but this isn't. This is a round robin pipe, and what it does is it takes the first thing that comes up here and sends it one way, the next thing another way, and the third thing the third way, for however many exits it has, and then it just keeps repeating in a, in a nice round robin cycle. So that's pretty useful for a variety of applications. You could do some quite precise work with it if you really want to, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend just doing it to evenly distribute things to, to chests. Let's go ahead and set the time to sunrise here. So yes, there it is. There's our round robin pipe distributing things equally instead of randomly like there would be if there was just a stone pipe there. Now over here we have a close cousin of the uh, round robin pipe. This is the distribution pipe. The way it works is that you set the relative frequency that you want things to come out of a certain color and then uh, they'll do that. So right now we've got a relative frequency of 5 in the blue, 1 in the teal, and then 0 for everything else. So, if we go ahead and power this up, bring some uh, good old good old cobblestone out there, collect this one, these cobble over here that we dropped last time. So up goes the uh, the cobblestone to our delightful delightful distribution thingy, thingy pipe. That's the word, pipe. Wow, I should not have forgotten this word. Okay, so there's 1 to the blue. And this one to the blue. And so there's going to be five times as many that come out the blue side as the teal side. So that's your distribution pipe. Pretty useful. Um, it's, it doesn't let you filter things. A combination of the, the distribution pipe and the, uh, the diamond pipe would be really cool if somebody could implement that at some point. So yes, if you're a mod maker and you're listening to this, do that. And that would be super awesome. You see one just went out there and now five are going to go out that side. So that's pretty awesome. That's your, uh, that's your distribution pipe. Over here, we have a bunch of cool pipes. These are uh, our teleport pipes. And the way that teleport pipes work, if you click them, you get this GUI here. Um, you set a frequency. It'll tell you how many pipes there are connected on that frequency. And you can tell it whether or not it can receive uh, items. So over here, we have one that can't receive. And over here, we have one that can receive. We have a simple iron pipe here. And if we throw something like a lever into this system here, See, it goes through, and infinite loops from here just gets teleported back over to here. So yes, that's teleport pipes. There's also uh, 
power teleport pipes. See here, we've got redstone engines working on this power teleport pipe here, which then goes to here. And then this is a power switch uh, pipe, which basically you can use to turn on and off conductive pipes. When it's not given redstone power, it won't connect. And when it is, it will. So that's a cool way that you can uh, regulate whether or not things are getting power. So now this pump is getting power. It's going to send water into this waterproof teleport pipe, which will then go here and start filling up this tank here, as you can see it is slowly. There it is. Um, so yes, teleport pipes and power switch pipe. Awesome. Super cool. Power switch pipe, you note, can also take a lever directly on top of it. Most pipes can't. Pretty awesome. Now over here, we have one of my personal favorite pipes. Um, the diamond liquid pipe. A diamond liquid pipe is basically a diamond pipe for liquids. You stick the buckets of your desired liquid. So here we have, for color coordination's sake, oil going black and water going blue. And then if you uh, go ahead and send those fluids there. So we'll start sending some oil out this way and some water this way. It can actually support crossing liquids, so you'll see it's being filled now with both water and oil at the same time, and they're both going different directions. So super cool pipe, very well coded, very well implemented, super awesome. I recommend this wholeheartedly, diamond liquid pipe. Use it, it's awesome. And you'll see we're filling this up with water, this up with oil, everything's working perfectly. Beautiful. Iron, uh, or d diamond liquid pipe, super awesome. Now, over here we have a, a distribution pipe. So additional uh, additional pipes adds one distribution pipe and additional buildcraft objects adds another distribution pipe and they're pretty much identical so here we have a chest that's filled pretty much of diamonds only diamonds can go into this chest because there's a bunch of spots for diamonds but nothing else could so if we give diamonds to either of these pipes we'll see here they come around go into the system and bloop into the chest the pipes are pretty much the same if they can they'll give something to a chest if they can't, they won't. And you'll see here, these will go. And since there's no space for cobblestone in this chest, they'll just go straight on through and will not be taking in. These pipes are pretty much identical. There's one small difference, and let me show you that now. You'll notice when the diamond comes by here, it's instantly sucked in. Whereas here, it actually has a bit of a travel time where it goes in there. So that's a slight difference, and you can actually have a, a, a rare case where one has decided to go this way, another one has decided to go this way, and then it fills up in here. That can never happen here because they instantly poured into the chest if they can. So this one's slightly better. You'll never have an extra or two pop out because of, uh, of overflow before the decision's made, if that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, don't worry. They're pretty much the same thing. Over here, we have the, uh, the rare third cousin to the... Uh, yes, third cousin. It's scientifically proven. Look it up. Third cousin to the... Uh, the insertion pipe here is the extractor pipe. Now the extractor pipe functions a lot like uh, wooden pipes. You can pull on pull items right out of them, out of the chest, like so. But it also has another another couple cool feature. First off, if it's going into the chest and there's no other way for items to go, they will go into the chest. But if there's any choice that it can make, if it can make a choice between a chest and a pipe, or any inventory and any pipe, it'll always choose the pipe. So it's very useful if you're building small, compact machines. Just use these pipes, and you can m build uh, intricate systems very close to chests or something that might otherwise accidentally suck up your blocks. So, very cool. Uh, this is a great way to make smaller machines. You just, um, yeah, you, you don't have to, you can have things running right by pipes without a risk of inserting into them. So there's, um, there is the extraction pipe. Over here, we have a pretty cool pipe called the compactor pipe. Turn it off, clear texture, turn it on, uh, compacting texture, you can see there. And if we just go ahead and fill this chest with some cobble and this chest with some cobble, and we get some cobble going this way, nice stream. So you'll notice we've got a bunch of cobble coming in here. When it reaches the compression pipe, which is powered with redstone, what'll happen is that all of these disparate unstacked cobblestones will actually be, uh, be stored for a few seconds in here and then compacted into stacks. So you'll see here many cobblestone entering. And after a few seconds, we should see out comes a stack. So there you go, very useful um, little way if you want to have some sort of round robin pipe, but you want to be splitting like 16, 16, 16 instead of 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1
pretty cool. And there you see, yeah, stacks of eight. This next stack, let's see how much it is. Stack of 13. I think the maximum stack is 16. And it does however much it can take in, like, five seconds. So you need to keep it, like, a very quickly supplied in order to compact properly. With something like this, for example. So yes, that's the compactor pipe. Items into stacks, or stacks into bigger stacks. If we had, like, four 16 stacks come in here. Or four four stacks, it would turn them into a 16 stack. Pretty awesome. Now over here, we have one of the unsung heroes of additional buildcraft items. Or additional buildcraft objects. The crossover pipe. The crossover pipe, oops. I've just killed my mouse, I believe. Uh, let me just grab the wire wired power. I had it wirelessly connected. I guess I just ran out of battery. You hear that? That was the sound of my mouse uh, de-connecting. There we go, okay. We're good. So this, um, right here, is our crossover pipe. And a crossover pipe... How are we, how are we doing, mouse? You, you connecting again? Feeling okay, mouse? Feeling good? Yep, we're doing some mouse movement. Sure, little guy? Okay. So crossover pipe, pretty cool. Um, basically, you'll notice in this chest here, we have wooden planks. And in this chest over here, we have... Also, some wooden planks. Let me grab those out of there. Silly wooden planks. Boy, pick up. Man! Come on, mouse. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Oh, there. Got something. Oh. 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 Come on. Mouse. Mouse, come on. You can do it. can do it. You can do it, mouse. Okay. We'll play with the trackpad. Whatever. Whatever. Will the sacrifices I make for you guys. Come on, trackpad. 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 Register. Silly. Silly trackpad. There we go. Okay. Trackpad. Good. We're good to go. So, trackpad. Awesome. Uh, blue wool in here. And wooden planks over there. And if we just flick these both levers on, you'll notice we've got the blue wool coming out of this side going this way. And the wooden planks coming out of this side going this way. And normally, unless you had, like, good timing and a round robin pipe you wouldn't be able or or a diamond pipe you wouldn't be able to route things to one side but this saves you those materials and just lets things cross in the direction they would have gone pretty awesome pretty darn awesome so yes wooden will always come out this side and blue wool will always go out that side pretty cool if you ask me which you are because you're watching my video let's go ahead and turn that off and head back over here so this is um this is pretty awesome there are a few Few, three, all three of these pipes are new. Um, this is a balance pipe. What a balance pipe does is if we grab some... Uh, let's spawn in some water cans. Uh, water can. We spawn in a few water cans here. And just pull those out. Balance pipe will make sure that two, any two tanks connected by it will always be equally water stacked. See here? Bloop. They equal out. Um, so that's pretty awesome. It does it without any input or anything. It'll, it'll just do it itself, naturally. Now this is a valve pipe. A valve pipe is basically an, an automatic wooden waterproof pipe that can take switches on top of it. So that'll turn the valve pipe on and let water come out of it and actually start automatically extracting water out of it. Pretty awesome. Uh, so then if we grab our wrench here, this is a golden iron, or a golden iron, yeah, golden iron waterproof pipe. It combines the, uh, the features of the golden waterproof pipe which is increased capacity, and the iron waterproof pipe, which is allowing you to set it to allow different sides. So here we've opened up this side, and this will allow both sides to go. So yes, it's, in this case, it doesn't serve any in increased function, but it's, I I'm showing you here that it does exist, it works fine, and it's a great way to, to use the iron pump pipe functionality in a golden pipe network without taking the, uh, the capacity loss of a regular iron pipe. Because a regular iron pipe holds six buckets, or four buckets, and this will hold six buckets. So if you have a network that's holding things at six buckets, uh, and it'll be a, a bottleneck at the iron pipe, unless you have a golden iron pipe. So yes, those are all of the awesome, awesome, awesome features, things, cool things that I've shown you this episode. Um, next episode, let's see. Oh yes, next episode. Okay, so next episode we're going to do... We're going to do the next few episodes on one of the following mods. Red Power, Computer Craft, Industrial Craft, or Thom Craft. 
Now, all of those mods are pretty intensive and will require a few episodes of work. So I'm letting you guys decide which one we do. Also, I'm going to show you this pipe after I finish this plug here. Um, so on my Facebook page, the description of which is in the description, or the link to is a link to which is in the description of this video. If you go to that Facebook page, there should be a poll and just click on your favorite, um, scroll down maybe a page down now at this point. Click on your favorite mod, vote for it, and then I'll do the one with the most votes next time I make a primer episode, which should be in a few days. So yes, that's that. And uh, this is the last pipe I will show you that I almost missed. So, uh, bad bad news. This is a bounce pipe. If it's unpowered, it looks a lot like a teleport pipe, but it's not. It'll let items just bounce right back. It doesn't let items through. But then if it is powered, it lets items through, and it doesn't let them bounce back. So it's a pretty cool way to control a system. Um, yes. Buildcraft, additional buildcraft pipes, additional buildcraft objects. If there's any pipes added by those mods that I haven't shown you here, it's because they were buggy for me. Um, so a few of those, like the stripes thing and the, uh, the stripes pipe and the cobblestone uh, structure pipe were giving me trouble. And the logistic pipes, which I have in here, I will be showing you in a coming episode, not one of the next few ones, because those will be a big series on either Thomcraft, Red Power, Computercraft, or Industrialcraft. Vote on my Facebook page for one of those. Um, but maybe after that, we'll do logistic pipes. So, thanks everybody for watching. This has been Dratnos. Let me know what you thought of the, uh, the intro, and if you really didn't like it, I'll, I'll stop including it in my future videos. Uh, yes, thanks everybody for watching. This has been Dratnos. Goodbye.